Okay, hello. This is the I touched. Uh, I'm back to show you how to fix this pink slash purple screen. Uh, okay, so you if you try to restore, you get this screen. So it says it has an unknown error. Here it is. Okay. Now this is so easy to fix. I don't know why I didn't think of it. Okay. First, you need iTunes to recognize your device. So I'm going to unplug it and plug it back in. Okay. iTunes has detected an iPod in recovery mode. You need to restore it. Okay. Now, I have in my folder on our computer the 3.0 5 restore.ipsw you need the current one I had 3.03 .03 and that timed out so that's why I had this so you need the current one now here's how we're going to do this since I have a Mac it's the alt option key but if you're running Windows you hit the shift key and you click restore just like a lot of jailbreaks so alt options click and then this screen is going to pull up so I am going to go to my desktop and the iPod 2, the 3.0 software. Now it's going to extract the software. And I'm going to put my iPod up by the screen so you can see. Okay, it's extracting the software still. Now uh, this is, I can't believe that I, I got sort of mad and I dented my iPod a bunch. I don't know if you can see that. I didn't get really mad, but I mean, that just sort of happened. And I didn't think I would use it anymore because I thought it was completely broken. And it's just so easy to fix. Uh, I just hope that you guys will have the same luck. Now, I'm not going to give you the 3.0 software. Now it's going to say preparing the iPad for restore. Oh, shoot, I missed it. But it goes, it blinks green, and then it goes out, and then, ah! And then you get the Apple logo. And my computer screen is sort of, it's an old co or computer, and I've dropped it too many times, so my screen is messed up. I'm just going to put my iPad on the keyboard. Okay, now it's going to have, like, a normal... Restore with that. Restoring the iPod software. I'm going to come back with, to you guys when this is almost done restoring. Okay. Okay, it's not done restoring, but I figure I'll just let you guys watch this. Uh, I'm filming on a Blackberry, which I will get around to doing a review on. And in the meantime, I'm going to do a review on another device Go over in my room I am going to do a review on the iPod Nano second generation I got this for Christmas a while ago it's broken right now and you can see on top it's busted open. Overall, I don't like this iPod at all. Okay, I mean, this isn't really a review, but I'm just kind of showing you guys the best time because this is taking forever to restore. This, don't, even if this is like $10, don't buy this for anybody, even though it's an iPod. Okay. Just throw it. Okay. Hmm. This is sort of boring. Okay, I'm gonna cut out and I'm gonna get it soon when it's at least decently. Oh, now it changes to verifying the iPod software. And so let me just explain three point explain three point zero software for you a little bit. I would not recommend doing this if you're just watching this video and you're thinking about doing it, do not do this because of the 
problems and um I don't know this is just sort of an annoying process and then you're gonna every time you wanna sync with iTunes, just when you plug in the iPod, you need to go on a Mac, you go up to the wireless and you say turn airport off. You turn that off. Okay? Then you can sync it and it doesn't say we don't recognize your your serial number in our developer thing. Uh, okay. And then in the 3.0 software, it's really not that worth it. I'd wait the next, what is it, like 15 days. Just wait and buy it in 15 days. It's probably going to be worth $10. Okay. So... Just kind of wasting time. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Well, because this is taking forever, I'm going to show you how iTunes, hot iTunes, how I got the Leopard. It, I have OS 10 Tiger, but I have a 3D dock. I'll show you how I did that. I downloaded this thing for my iPods going still. In system preferences, uh, there's application enhancer and stuff. There's just a thing called your dock. Your iPod has been restored to factory settings and it will be and it will appear in iTunes at in the iTunes window after it restarts. So here we go. Sorry, I just clicked on a phone. Okay. Coming up. Now, I don't know if it's going to do this, but last time I restored it like this. Yep, it goes to the pink screen. Don't worry, that's going to go away. Right about now. I think. There we go. It disappears. Oh. What the hell? Oh, there we go. Okay. So now you can register your iPod. And I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to straight up slide to unlock. Edit home screen. And I have voice notes and 3.0. Okay. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry this is sort of long and about the other stuff. Okay, here we are unable to complete your activation. This device must be registered as part of the iPhone developer program. If you are a member of the program, please register your device at the program portal. So how we're going to abide this or sort of just kind of avoid this, turn airport off. And we're going to unplug and plug back in the iPod. It's connected. And straight up, here we go, iPod. Sync in progress. It has been previously synced. And I will set it to the backup of my old one when I had 3.0.5. Or 3.0 beta 5. Sorry. Okay. So, we're storing back up. So, thanks for watching this. Hope this helps. And subscribe.